Radio. Mr. Danny Tamborelli. All tangled up here. And on his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. And our very special guest for this evening, Gary Richardson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all. Oh, boy. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming out. This is uh, the Danny and Mike pop-up podcast. Showcase. This is, uh, you know... On short notice, because good old Colin Quinn doing some off-Broadway stuff, right? Canceled? I, I guess that's Yeah, the I think that's yeah. what happened. Unless you want to go pay 60 bucks, we're free, so. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're here for that, I'm sorry, but you got us. Did anyone here pay to get in? <laughs> uh -oh. I think F-R-E-E -E means free, or it spells free, for sure. Did you uh, take the Staten Island Ferry when it used to be 50 cents? No, I never took the Staten Island Ferry. Actually, Mike, does that hurt your feelings? You sure? I'm not married to it. Okay. I think that... You drive uh, a car, too. No, no, I heard, I heard you used to be able to drive a car onto the Staten Island Ferry. Is that accurate? That is true. Um, where's my fact checker? Nope. We need one every Thank episode. Thank you. There's a fact okay. checker. Damn it. Thank you. See? <sighs> See? So. There's always one fact checker for Mike at every live show. But uh, recently, a guy was arrested for uh, selling tourists, like, uh, what was it, $150 Staten Island Ferry tickets. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's 150 bucks. You go all year. Shit. That's a great idea. I live here, and I'm afraid that that could happen to me. That someone might no, you scam you like could... that? Yeah. I mean, I only recently took the ferry for the first time. Okay. Because I was like, I've never been to Staten Island. I need to knock it out. I've been, I'm, I'm here now. I got to go. And I went there, and I was like, okay, where do I buy a ticket? And it took my buddy being like, hey, no way, dude. No way. You're not paying. <laughs> Always just, bring a buddy. Just walk on. Yeah. B buddy system. Had, I, not, had I asked anybody else, if they would have said, oh, I'm going there right now. I'll grab you a ticket. Give me 150 bucks. I'd have been like, okay. Cool. All right. Can I Venmo you? You know? I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, have it right I don't now. carry that much cash. I don't carry that much cash. Max, I've got... 15 bucks on me. He's like, he's like, get to the ATM because it leaves, you know, 8.30. I'd be like, okay, isn't, dude. Isn't I Staten Island like Alaska where they pay you to live there? Don't you, shouldn't you get paid <laughs> no, to you, take that? Like, every time you get on the Staten Island, here's five bucks, a uh, hot dog and a soda. You, you were so adamant last Sunday night coming home. Don't have to pay to get into Jersey. <laughs> you were so adamant. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's because I'm from Jersey, so it I'm feels good to go into the state and not like to a pay. It was a major selling point for yeah, you. Yeah, you're, you're paying for the privilege to leave New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know how it works like that, wait, wait, but it wait, works wait. like that. No, yeah, no. see? Yeah, there you go. No, no. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. it's like, you, that's the it's first not, it's time. It's not the privilege to go to New York City. It's that's actually, it's actually uh, uh, you're getting charged to leave the state because it's so great. It's a, it's a process. <laughs> that's it's a the pro first time he's ever insulted his home state. Right? Every well, time I say something I was, bad you know, about it. It's like... It's kind of. Every no, time state, I say something bad about New like Jersey, I get... It's like self-deprecating humor. It's maybe, okay. Maybe oh, Staten I can't Island. It, though. Staten Island is the small intestine, and New Jersey is the large intestine that you <laughs> no, must... I think I'd buy that. ...that you must pass through to get to wherever you And live. what's Long Island, then? Ooh, the appendix. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we could all do without. Yeah, you, know? you don't really we need it. we could all do without a little bit of Long Island. Just crushing up rocks and yeah. sticks that we don't need anymore? Yeah. Was your Staten Island ferry thing the typical where you went there? There and then, went, uh, and this then is what I'm guessing is typical. You go there, you get on, you go to Staten Island because right. that's what I did. Right? Is there a more typical? And then what? Thing? Then, then what did you do? Then How what did, did you get you back do? here? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I was going with a buddy to pick up his car. He's from Staten Island, you uh, see. So we had to go there. Got to bring a local. Get his car. Bring a local. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, and he was like, hey, it's Tuesday at like eleven. You don't have a job. Are you up for an adventure? I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, absolutely. This, this is how the podcast started, Yeah, this is actually. exactly how our podcast started. That's funny. Mm -hmm. and we have like, yet to you... go to Staten Island and do anything. We just drive through it on our way to other things. You know, you're probably not missing much. No. Yeah, I know. What, yeah. I know I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. There's a swimming pool there. 
when I when I first moved to New York, I drove a box truck around uh-huh. all five boroughs, including Staten Island, and that was the only one that I how get hard, super lost. How hard lost is in. it to name all five boroughs? Come on. <laughs> What do you mean? It's easy. Including Staten Island. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, because like people so, forget oh, that Staten forget. Island is oh, a borough. I'm sure. Oh, I forget. You know. Nobody forgets. I, I forget. You know, if it's not a large, if it's not the small intestine, it's like a tumor on the side of Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Something that must be excised. And here's my proposal. I said it before and I'll say it again to the anger of many city workers in Staten Island. Let's sell it to Jersey. It's already attached oh. to the landmass. Let's sell it to Jersey. Wow. Just an idea. You Is know, it, how much do you think let's say Chris Christie uh, opens his yeah, pockets. Chris Christie. Yeah. He says, "Hey, I've got a I've got a number on a napkin. What number would have to be on there for New York to sell? Like, how much do you think, what's the lowest you could buy Staten Island for? Because that's where he's starting. Yeah, I mean, he's like, you starting gotta, at the lowest. Yeah, you gotta yeah. start at the low yeah. end. You're gonna haggle, you know? These things don't go. It's not just like, I'll give you this much. Yeah. 50 it's bucks in all the PSC and G you can use. And that's Ooh, it. A lot. Well, what? What? You sell 50 bucks and you get to use all the, all the uh, Jersey electric in, from Elizabeth. This is uh, highly theoretical, but I feel like you could, you could buy Staten Island with $1 billion. Is that, I mean, sorry, $1 billion. Okay. For the listener. Okay. For the listener. For the listener. Dean in reference. I'm not in the market to sell Staten Island. Repping, but, repping Staten Island as a friend of a local. I mean, so... I would imagine you'd say 475 mil, right? This is already what? Showcase you Showdown. I thought it was going to be Showcase but Showdown. It is Showcase Showdown. One dollar. But I'm saying. I, no, 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 no. I want <laughs> passwords. No, no, no. We both bid on Staten Island, but then we also get to see the second showcase. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm saying I also want like Four? somebody's dad's HBO Go password. <laughs> and I need Netflix and I want a game fly. Mm-hmm. I want a Gamefly password. It'd be so cool to like rent video games. I've never done it. Those kids in the commercials look so it's happy. It's like they're having a blast. I want that. I want to see what that's it's all gonna about. It's going to really change the whole face of Staten Island. Just Absolutely. a bunch of gamers. It's going to be great. What, how, what do you think it looks like now? I don't know. You a bunch bla- of gamers? You black t-shirted troglodyte. <laughs> look at you. What? You're wearing a black t-shirt. And your point? Again, man. And you, too. What? Why Again, a unicorn mate. with a rainbow on it, though. And you too, you know, you've got black. I like like right here. Gary's appropriate. In here. Gary's appropriate. Summer appropriate. It's been hot. It's been hot today. Had it's to wear true. shorts. It's very hot. I know. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing. I usually You're don't wear pants. shorts. I don't wear shorts. Stage, but. Yeah, I don't. I'm I'm ashamed of my body. Um, <laughs> so I don't. I don't wear a lot of shorts. It's not funny, for the, guys. It's true. No, for, laugh. That's, for the listener, Jeremy is attempting to shrink into his own skin like a, <laughs> like a turtle <laughs> or an uncircumcised penis. Uh, what? Wow, okay. Speaking of Staten Island, um, <laughs> uh, you know, we used to just take the Staten Island Ferry fairly, fairly? because we were poor and it was the closest way to see the Statue of Liberty. So when my family comes in town anytime and I have to do and I have to do the tour guide. We throw our I'm hobo like, bindles. Like, Maybe on we the, go see on Statue of Liberty. Train. I'm like, I think I can do that. It's no big deal. You, you pop by that same bagel I charge store, like four fifty five and try to get those free bagels at the end before they throw them out? No. I did know a guy that fell asleep on the uh, got drunk, I guess, and passed out on the ferry. And he was so well known for just drinking. And he was just a dude who worked and took the the ferry that he, uh, I guess, woke up one day and the guys knew him. Was like, "Oh, it's it's time to go. You've uh, it, your day is over. You 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 worked. You're drunk. Let's go. Let's get off there." I would never do that though. I, I don't I don't drink on the ferry. You're the type of guy who got in a fight with the street performer like robot guy, didn't you? Because you tried to take his picture without paying. No, no, I'm not that cheap. I, That's they you. don't interest me. That's no, you. No, no, it's a tour guide thing. I, you know, you have to be a when tour your family in town. Here. You're like, yeah. hey, you can take his picture for free. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I feel like I did punch a mascot once, though. <laughs> I can't remember. What, maybe it was like George Jetson or someone at Philly, uh, some the Philly sort of fanatic. Park. Maybe he was messing with me. I don't know. I, How'd you get so close to a mascot? that he could mess with you? Yeah. Well, it was at a theme park, and he insulted that I wasn't okay. wearing shorts. And uh, back to that. Might, yeah, the whole body the right. issues came back, back and yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he might have been in the right though. So yeah, you're anyway, at a theme park. You gotta wear fairy. you gotta wear some shorts at a theme park. 
Right? I don't know. I it's like I haven't watched a lot of Pete. Yeah, you wear short. Oh, I don't wear shorts. We know you haven't watched much Pete and Pete. And that's yeah. okay. Anyway. That's why we like you. I don't think that's, that's the reason. <laughs> no, it's you just I have all the, the equipment so we can I record the, the podcast. Equipment to record a podcast. Really, the only yeah. reason that you're here in a basement apartment, which is <laughs> love. The guy with the van and the drum set <laughs> is the drummer of the band. It's yeah. it's unavoidable. Actually, you might not... like him. You might not like. You might like what the van smells like. You might not like what it sounds like. It's a van. I uh, Danny recently told me that people on stage shouldn't wear shorts. I guess just when, when you're in a band, right? What? Well, I'm saying, like, you're Unless you're, like, in fucking Pennywise or, like, you know, I don't know. Do you know Sublime with Rome, perhaps? <laughs> I think maybe we should just rule out cargo shorts and leave the rest alone. Well, maybe. I, you know, I feel like I need to, like, do this now. Pull my... Yes, no, I, got these I don't really think you need to do shorts. that at all, actually. Wait, you don't like this? No, 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 no. Your body issues are now my body issues? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I have enough uh, for the both. Uh, Speaking of body issues, <laughs> no, no, I don't want to. You, you, no, you always lay no, in the no. fat jokes first, Mike. So uh, that's why, actually, tonight I've brought you the makings of the paper towel tank wow. top. Wow, oh. we're gonna make a paper towel tank top tonight. Danny sweats. Um, it's one of his things. He's adorable. For the this listener, is, uh, this is great does, right now for the listener. But he does the listener, sweat. Mike this isn't is fun for you. Covering Danny with paper towels. Yeah, this is very wasteful. You know what I mean? Like, y- 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 I'm not you, you, hot up here. This isn't. Th- yeah, these this are is these are nice, nice. lights. Yeah. These are LEDs. They're LEDs. These are LEDs. Yeah. Look, that actually is helpful though. That mm-hmm. is, yeah, patting here, my. You're never t- gonna see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're never it gonna see it this. Tuck never... it, tuck it right up in oh, there. Oh, really? There you go. Get them in there. Just like in the shower. Guys, so the other day I met Luigi <laughs> in Times Square, the Nintendo's Luigi. You what know, happened? The guy from the video game. Yeah, yeah. Tall, slim, yeah, green. yeah, yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, that one, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. That's the description officer. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> and he had like a bunch of Mario was there, and like you know Spider Man and all those fucking people running around in their suits. And Did this guy came up to me, and I was like, "Please leave me alone." Like, I have a New York Mets hat on. It's not a Yankees hat. Like, I am you know from the area because <laughs> no one else would be a Mets fan. <laughs> and he comes up to me. Stop it, Mike. God, and Danny are fighting on the stage even, about. Napkins. I can't even tell a story for the listener. So he comes up to me, and I'm like, "No, dude, I don't want to take your picture." And he pops his hat off and probably, you know, screwed some little kid's mind up. Oh, because no, not like that. Jeez, no, because he came up to me. He's like, "Oh, you're Pete. Can I take a picture?" And I thought that was really funny. You said, up yours, Jetson. No, I said, that's this fine. Is, It'll be $10, because I wanted to give him a little bit of what he gives everybody else. Comedy. Yeah, and comedy he didn't guys. find it funny, but I took the picture anyway. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Did you let him touch you? Because I feel like all he, those things are fucking disgusting. I know. You know what? I've had this, and I've had this like, weird pimple thing on my nose for the last two weeks. It won't go away. My Ever since I touched that guy. Greatest fear. So, guys, actually, that's the new PSA now is do not touch any of those people. <laughs> yeah, you should have And I didn't know. I wish I had seen you two oh, weeks ago, man. I've been like, no way, dude. Have you been to a water park uh, this summer, Gary, or anything not like that? Not this summer. The beach? This summer. Have you been to the beach? I have been to the beach. Okay. Um, it it's, was fun. It's sandy. Tell us it was about fun. the beach. Very sandy. It was a... Uh, I went up to Cape Cod. Ooh. Okay. Over the 4th. Yeah. yeah had a blast, awesome, you know. Really. Saw a seagull... Take a whole uh, rap out of a child's hand. Was it bu- <laughs> That was awesome. Well, was, like, was it what, Bugsy it? Seagull or was it? No, it was, it was one of the plain. It was uh, like it was it was Beanie for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Philadelphia native, um, but uh, <laughs> but this it didn't take it out of the kid's hand. The kid was holding half of the rap, and the seagull swooped down took the other half out of a tray and then like the kid was small maybe like six and tried to go up and give the seagull the rest of it but everybody was like no 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 you can't get close to the seagull it's whole weed no (laughs) yeah it's not like the seagull was big enough to take a whole baby right he can't take a six year old they're not that strong depends on the seagull yeah it depends on the seagull I guess you're right I guess and the baby seagull to seagull basis three to Mm -hmm. six month olds gotta be careful though Okay, this was a six-year-old. Well, then she's the going, not yeah. going anywhere. Yeah, that baby was going to... I mean, you know a lot about birds grounded. of prey. Was it like vultures? Like, uh, what right. kind of... What kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I, I thought I saw some. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> we, we were in a car for 20 
five hours in, oh, God. in the span of 48 last no, we week. Got, we got out and went to Waffle House at one point. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was smart. We, drove, we got up early and drove through the entire state of Ohio just to get to the one Waffle House that you can eat at before you cross <laughs> the no Waffle House zone. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but then there's, then there's one right after that that they didn't, they didn't right, want Right, they don't at. tell you that. There's the one that's a little bit closer to get to you off point the of, highway. Point of no return, I was like, oh, we could have... That's there was the one more. Yeah, there, no, but there were more things yeah. on the menu that I that's wanted to safety. That I wanted Just to in get. case. Yeah. yeah. Waffle houses are great, you know? This is not a brand we hate. No, we don't hate this brand Oh, we fucking hate Cracker Barrel. They yes. can well, fuck themselves. Are we going down well, that road right my now, guys? God. I, I've never hated a brand on this podcast. I'm just no. I'm Mike's just trying to catch thing, up from last podcast. Hate we'll hate brand. another brand I'll by the end of this. Double up. We hate we hate brands on this oh, podcast. Oh, sweet, very so cool. So if very you cool. have one that you'd like to shout out, oh, yeah, so we like a guest. You'll hate. never get money from um, them, or they'll blacklist you forever. Ever. Just go for it. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing come to mind just yet, but okay. I'll start. I'll Whenever, work. just we'll shout it out. Over. Just sure. shout Let's it do. out. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll uncover do. it in your travels. Cool, yeah, sounds good. You, sounds good. You're yeah. not going to any theme parks this summer? You plan to still? Uh, no or? plans, you know. Uh, <laughs> this year I've got a bunch of fucking weddings to go to. I hate weddings, So I've, like, man. blown so much money. On? On other people. On other, on, like, gifts. Well, not yeah. gifts yet, but I will blow it on gifts. What do you mean? You, like, give, you give them IOUs? No, not yeah. I mean, I was told that you've got like I a do year. the twelve. Yeah, I do the twelve yeah. month year, IOU right? in between. What? If you got more than four weddings in the summer, you gotta like pick and choose what you give the gifts. Oh, really? We're who gets six, them right maybe? away? Who gets them? I've been getting ripped, ripped off months. this whole time. Yeah, you do it all at once. Yeah, and just up front. Well, you're a nice guy. I guess. What do you mean all at once? You just give them. I, I give like you lots give of ten, little. I give, I give them lots of little month. presents that add up to like a hundred bucks. What is that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do that. You know? The ASPCA. Hey, you know it's not bad. You know, it's a bad way to be. Yeah. No, just thirty like, cents a day supports yeah. your friend. No, you buy you buy that really expensive, you know, four pack of Johnny Walker with all the different ones, and each time sure. you give them a different one. It's small enough. Oh, is that for you? Uh oh, burger delivery for, for the listener. My burger was my my burger was Mike uh, was ordered a burger thank to be delivered on stage. I appreciate yeah, that. thank you, you very that? much. Big we round of applause for the I'm kitchen, just, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. I mean, not, I guess Mike should say This that. is the second time I think that Mike is eaten during a podcast. I smelled your fries, you who's still eating them back there, and I, I wanted some. <laughs> Gnarly. And you were eating some earlier as well. I was eating some earlier. I'm afraid that they are deathly cold now. We'll eat some of those. No, I'm okay. I'm no, you should enough. definitely eat some of those. No, I'm okay. No. Okay. Maybe later. Maybe, I mean, I like the short <laughs> ones. They give you a lot of long fries here. Get a long fries. I can hear a Yelp review forming around this. No, oh, Captain Long no way. Fry. I mean, like me, I'm a I'm a short fry guy. That's me. Really? Through and through. Crispy that was your soggy. nickname in middle Crisp, school, absolutely. right? All the way. Yeah. Gary, short fry, short fry guy Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like my, all my buddies, if we were at lunch and everybody got fries, they knew what to do with knew, their short ones. They're like, oh. We can get over. We can we can trade two long ones for a short one. Outrageous deal for Gary to make, but he loves the short ones, so he's gonna go for it every time. And I did. And the I did. The lunch schemers. Yeah. You were there, Patsy. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm I'm ingesting a third of the potatoes I should be ingesting. As a 16 year old kid, potatoes are important. They are very important. Yeah. But you're getting a lot more of like the crispy end. I'm getting crunch, big time crunch, my man. Yes. (laughs) Now we're talking about a French fry. Yeah. Yeah. These are these are not them. I mean, like you got a few. You got this one. This little guy right there. They're right behind you. Yeah. On the other side of this wall. For the listener, the the kitchen is. uh, it's right behind Denny's. I'm not saying that the fries are bad. I'm saying me. Well, don't say that. The, the fries say. aren't bad. <laughs> what are you saying? Now you're putting words in his mouth. Alex. Oh, no. Now you're making me into this bad guy. I'm a good guy. Alex, Great. he doesn't mean it, Alex. Good guy. I'm over that award. <laughs> good guy of the year. That's me. Where, That's where, me. where were you regionally at 16 years old? Where, where was where I regionally? I was in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Mm-hmm. Having a blast. Uh... I actually was a small fry at 16. We're talking about a guy that was, uh, was it 16. I had to be 5'3", 95 pounds. Were you already wow. doing comedy? Uh, no, I was enjoying it. But for the listeners at home, 
Gary Richardson is now 6'6", 245 pounds. <laughs> all muscle. He's jacked as hell, you know? All muscle. I'm doing all right. Yeah, he's all muscle. No bones. Dwar- dwarfing. <laughs> no bones at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. We got a mm-hmm. six-foot-six bag of muscle on stage with yeah. these men. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy about it. I'm happy to have no bones. Got rid of bones back in 07. <laughs> Never looked back. No way. <laughs> Didn't if need I, Didn't If I had them. that confidence, I wouldn't feel so bad about wearing shorts. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not. I'm it's all the bo- bones. It's the bones. That's yeah. what he's scared of. I mean, yeah. I have no muscle. I thought I was the man with more, no shorts, but then I met a man with no bones. And that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But I mean, I was, I don't like wearing shorts a ton because I did grow between, like, 16 and 18, I probably grew like seven inches, so I've got all these like gnarly stretch marks all over my knees. And I'm like, that's a bummer. But I'm also like, uh, who's, who's looking at my knees, you know? Who, who's looking Some at my knees that are, I care and about? They're judging, and they're on the street when you're walking down the street, and they're sitting on Extra- the stoop. Yeah, dogs yeah, sure. are judging your knees. I think everybody's right. judging, <laughs> particularly dogs, yeah. Dogs okay, are judging right. your knees. I guess maybe I should put on some pants. No, no. Don't Maybe fall into the Jeremy trap, okay? We've it's all a, It's tried. a life I, I you know, do not I mean, want to live. I don't know how. Uh, it is a rough yeah, place like to today, live. Today is a bad day to be wearing pants. That's the truth, dude. And no, just, it was outrageous. It. It's not I okay. was so mad walking to the train for no <laughs> reason. I just got angry. That you kicked the air. I was ready to. You could. I was ready to kick so the air. Can it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's the... Yeah, I get it. I get where you're going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep going with this one. No, no, no. <laughs> we can follow it through. We can no, follow no, it through. So, why did you get kicked out of that theme park this summer? Was it too hot? Um, this summer, the theme park. What happened was it was it was insane. It was a miscommunication. That's what happened. Okay. I'm I there. My six kids were having a blast. They say, you got to go. I say, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> and they say, don't care. You got to go. And I say, okay, cool. I don't like trouble. So Look like at it. these knees. Yeah. Come on with a guy with these knees. Make any trouble? No way. <laughs> Last thing I need is for, to make a scene. Folks are looking at me. They're seeing my unsightly stretch marks on my knees. They're not seeing the whole man. They're not seeing the whole man. They're saying... Dude, did your thigh give birth? <laughs> I say, what is your fucking problem, asshole? Get out of here. No, I'm sorry that I had a growth spurt that led me to being 6'6", 245 pounds. Of pure muscle. Pure muscle. <laughs> All American tight end at the University of Wisconsin. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy, you know? Gave up the dream. Started doing comedy. And slimmed back and down. Slow, slimmed slow, slimmed slow, back down. Slimmed, slimmed back slow, down. Slow, <laughs> lost about 195 pounds. Reconnected with my parents who were very upset with me. They said, nobody needs to have no bones. <laughs> Keep some bones. I said, no way. Get out of here. I don't need these. They said, if you don't have any bones, you can't stay here. <laughs> I said, that's cool, dude. I just signed. A letter of intent to go to University of Wisconsin. <laughs> and they were like, "All right, dude, later." And I was like, "Later, dudes." Never looked back until. Never looked back until I slid in the first round. You know, slid in the second round. Got drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Said, "No way. <laughs> no way am I going to play in Tampa Bay." Me and Rondé Barber have history. <laughs> we have history. I will not share the same jersey as him. I think we may have found your brand. You could that fit you inside. Hey, right. You could fit inside Rondé Barber's Barber. jersey with Rondé. I think. Probably. I mean, he's a. He stopped playing. He's not in his physical peak. Yeah, anymore. he's not. You yeah, he's not as share. bulky. You know. Yeah, and not got to be the size of some uh, shoulder pads, right? <laughs> Lay me across his. Uh, across. Is there a name for that whole part of your body? Your, your shoulders are back? Shoulders. Yeah, so you I got a fact shoulders. check yeah. in the audience, okay, yeah, too. Thanks. Oh, I, I didn't guess, realize I you brought your shoulders. Yeah. You, you got to step like, up your fact check again. Yeah, too. I know. Really One low. day I'll get it. Like a me. Yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. a you. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a me, like a you. Hey, mm-hmm. like a me, like a you. You're, you have a mustache. Yeah, I know. Your name is Tamborelli. 
You used to drive a wine truck. Okay. And you're talking about how you got into a problem with a mascot dressed as Luigi. What does that say about me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm glad I led you all the way there. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I mean, I, uh, stereotypes are hard to break. Have, have, you been, <laughs> have you been kicked out of any theme parks like our friend here? No, I've never been kicked off, uh, kicked out of any theme parks. No? No. My, the closest ever was my little sister. Was We were in Disney World. And He's we were looking away Pirates a lot. of the Caribbean, that, that fucking ride, and a ball bearing popped out when they was going down and hit my little sister in the face. Oh, no. Yeah, and like, you know, caused a dent and everything. She was like nine or ten, and uh, we got off the ride, and we found the ball bearing in like the thing, like... In, in the caboose or wherever we were in and like Disney security came over and they kept trying to take the ball bearing from my mom like this didn't happen my mom was like uh, I'm I, I, you don't know my son's on Nickelodeon okay this is we don't fuck around with Disney alright we don't play we're Nick kids we're Nick yeah. people so they, they still have the ball bearing we in still Jersey. have that ball bearing and the lawsuit is still pending so my sister keeps thinking she's going to get rich, but it's never going to happen. Has she woken up? I mean, she's married with a kid now at 27 years old. <laughs> Wait. When did Pirates of the Caribbean come out? <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that long ago like when she was... Was yeah. last year, actually. 18 years ago? Well, yeah, I mean, because no, it, it was a ride eight. before it was a movie. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> was it? Sweet. Or... I don't know. What other, what Look, other secrets again. from my childhood are you going to destroy? <laughs> Next, With, you're going to tell me It's a Small World was some sort of animatronic display. It, that's it. That's all it was. Oh. Does that really upset you? I Did, doubt it. Jeremy, you must have gotten kicked out of somewhere. No, but you know, the only thing I was thinking of is I was at a, un, a teen dance club. Now, if you want to have some <laughs> Wait fun... Wait a second. <laughs> You guys were you have a some teen? Fun. Please well, tell me here's you the kicker. Teen. I was 21. <laughs> this is where, and, the, this uh, is where the proscenium drops down and we're all wearing leather jackets. <laughs> yeah. so Pars, I, portions of this podcast can only be heard in Mississippi, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, here's, the, here's the great thing. If you're going to go to a dance club, go to a teen dance club and be 21 and then go out to the parking lot, kill a couple beers, <laughs> and then have the sheriff drive around and see you drinking in your car. And not only almost get arrested for drinking and driving, but give for underage. Put my friend in the back. That's my daughter in there. It's not really a theme park, uh, you know. I was, but it was per, almost per se. A Sounds like a lot prison. of fun. Yeah, like a jail <laughs> trip. Uh, it was the closest I think I've ever been to being arrested. Uh, happy ending though. I didn't get arrested at the last minute. My underage friend was in the back seat of the cop car, and the cop said. You know, something came on the radio. I tried to make a radio sound. I didn't work. Uh, something came on the radio, and he said, uh, "Get rid of the beers, boys!" And then shut the door and sped off. And that was—that's why I'm here today. If I would have gotten arrested, I'm not sure where I would be. And Probably one of those mascots your, that's in how Times you Square. Met your wife. No. <laughs> that's how I met my wife. Uh, we've been together for 14 years, and she hates my body as much as I do. Oh, <laughs> that's a bummer, man. That was like legit so sad to hear. <laughs> I was like, I was like oh, shit, man. No. I think, I think <laughs> Jeremy I mean, and part I, of it's right, but Jeremy no, and I could fit part. inside Danny's football jersey, but without touching. We'd just be like shrinking away okay, from guys. each other. That was, <laughs> well, that was just an unwarranted No, because we'd be hesitant joke. to touch each other. I, I, I want to backtrack horribly for a minute, but we're, I think you were going to make fun of Danny for saying Ma Ma Mario. How did you say Mario? Mario. Mario. Oh, you were going to make fun of me for saying Mario? No, no way. Mike was. Mike was holding it back. I could see it. In his, in his eyes. You don't say Mario? <laughs> see? For the listener, Mike. Say it learned. again. Mario. But say the game. Super Mario. Bros. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, from Toledo? Ah, no, I'm not from Toledo. What? You're not That's my Toledo voice. <laughs> That's Minnesota. Well, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? There's what? Just Michigan in between. And Wisconsin. And Milwaukee, yeah. That's not a state. You gotta drive through it, eh? We'll so be here all week, folks. <laughs> we'll be here all week. Oh, really? We, really what? We went to the home of the most neutral accent in America, Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's what they said. They said the Fort really? Wayne, Indiana is, is like, you can't, you can't tell, tell where you're from, from in the country because hmm. you're so damn in the middle. You're far from civilization. You know, you know, in like uh, maybe a year ago on Facebook when everything was blasting off on like, no. chick. You can check where you're from. You just have to answer all these questions, Absolutely, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And everyone's like, look, yes. we almost got where I'm from. 
Uh-huh. They nailed me. They said I'm from they Newark, New Jersey. They nailed me. They said Yonkers or Brooklyn. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? No. Well, let's do it right now. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm just like. I guess with all those things, I'm like. Oh, okay, cool. What? Why? Do okay, I need to yeah. okay. I but don't, I think I that was better. From. It was better to do that one than like. What Disney character are you? Ma- or like. I'm gonna say it now too. What? Mario. <laughs> It, you just sound funny when you say it. You say it's Ma- Mario. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't like, fucking help it. Oh, I thought you were Super saying because Mario it wasn't Brothers. Mario. Yeah, it's yeah, Mario. It's Brothers. not Mario. It's Super Mario Fuck Brothers. Mario. It's Mario, Whoa, dude. Wow. What a hatred. We're really. This is a schism in the podcast here. Yeah. I was an Atari guy. Okay, Jesus. For and how back long? Off, all right. Can I get For how always? long? Alex, can I get popcorn? <laughs> You're missing out, dude. Graphics have gotten so much better since Atari. Well, look, it's pitfall or die, man. That's all I got. I'm going to blow your mind what? when I show you some FIFA, when I show you some NBA 2K15. Wow. So That sounds yeah. awesome coming out of your So we like wasted, blast, obviously, we have FIFA. wasted our summers because we did not go to camp or get internships or anything. We mm-hmm. sat at home and played video games or went outside and kicked the ball around or whatever we did. You sweated, I know, no matter what you did. <laughs> yeah, but I was outside sweated, at least doing yeah, something. You sweated just sitting on the stoop well, watching you know. the other kids play. <laughs> Like the team stick sitting, kid. sitting, the team sitting stick down kid. playing acoustic guitar outside it was really difficult for money. For money, get yeah. the fry, get the fry. No, for the listener. For, I, you, you guys suppo- when you say for the listener, you're supposed to finish that with what you're gonna do. Jeremy just took a candid photo. There's a bead of sweat coming out. Danny was not aware of guys, and I thought Mike would enjoy that, so I took a picture, man. So. So I need to go from a paper towel tee to a paper towel helmet? <laughs> like a Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter type thing, but made out of paper towels. Yes. I like that. Right. I really like that, like actually. That? Yeah. It's a good addition. A muzzle? That's okay, that's now called, we're right? taking well, it too far. Well, a muzzle? Sorry. That's what he was talking about. That's what Hannibal Lecter had on. Yeah, but I don't it, want... You, no, well, you'd be able to talk through it as paper I towel. Think. Yeah. Huh? I think he's talking about extra skin. No, Did Hannibal no, no. Have no. extra Hannibal? face skin? No, no, no. More like... Uh, a very overly protective offensive lineman. I'm telling you, that's exactly what a muzzle is. <laughs> yeah. That's a muzzle. Yeah. Wait, well, the, I don't the, want the, it. Whatever it is, I don't want it. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. pushing it, man. Just it try it. Sounds out. like you were. Just drink no this way, milk, B.A. I was just trying just to give us. Just drink the milk. Just drink this milk. The name. <laughs> I told you, I don't like helicopters. Ugh. No, I really think that if you became like a paper towel spokesman, you could make some coin. All right, well, Mark Hal is out of Patterson, New Jersey, so maybe I'll just go over there. There you go, Jersey Brands. I never, I don't know that I hate them yet. I'll give them a chance. You got to pay to get down out They cut down trees, though. and they make paper towels. Motherfucker! I don't, yeah. What do you want me to say? I don't know. You usually hate on stuff like that. But that, he did just pull out a million <laughs> paper towels earlier. <laughs> no, I pulled out. No, that was my prototype for his paper towel tank top. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still came off as wasteful, you know? Still, a lot of trees, you know. Can you see us going on Shark Tank? And For the be, listener, how just how, slapping how, a bunch of this, paper towels against his chest. This this seems like you you wasteful. Why? Because it's gonna get cold. For the listener, I'm going to eat my burger. <laughs> <laughs> For the listener, I'm about to eat my burger. And I'm really enjoying it. I hope you get a stain so badly. <laughs> right on the. <laughs> You know, I, that's just what I want is just some oil, just boop, right there, this right is, down the front of your shirt. This is the second choice soccer jersey because uh, Mexico is playing Costa Rica right now, and I just can't fit Put into the Mexico jersey uh, anymore. Why? Cause in that, in that shit is so damn tight. It's a kid's large or something. <laughs> oh, see, so yeah, yeah, he has to do that. It's a kid's large. It's a kid's large. Well, don't fucking wear a kid's large then. It was cheap. One. It was cheap. The place closed, actually, where I got it. That's like an extra fat joke jab for me. It's like, I'm wearing a kid's large. Oh, I couldn't fit into a kid's large. A kid's XL, though, is fine. Pomodoro. What? Pomodoro. Little Pomodoro. That's you in the sun. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a lot of Danny hating going on tonight. (laughs) Yeah, there's a lot of Danny hating going on. Yeah. You know what sucks is you call me Pomodoro like that, and it's I, I got really got called that when I was in Italy, in Sicily for rear. For real. For rear. For rear. Yeah. For just, rear, rear, son. Just, yep. For rear, rear. Mm-hmm. No, I spent a lot of time in Sicily, and mm-hmm. the first time I went there, how much? I was. Uh, um, I've been there maybe like three months. 
out of my whole life. Cool. It's a love. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. I would count that. That's, 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 that's a decent I'm not amount of time. You on trial. Were you there? Okay, I'm just saying. Never been. Me neither. But when you go there, you you shouldn't. You know, there's a reason why Sicilians are so tan. Mm-hmm. Do this again. That, they're Do under this that. Again. Sun, yeah, this again for the listener. For the listener, yeah, yeah. my my pale white skin. <laughs> so the first two days I was there in Sicily, I got like fucked up, burn like 14 years old. Like I don't need sunblock. Like I'm gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, need I, I, think, I don't need anything. I, I think what I said was, I just need to get burned one day and then I get a base and I'm fine. <laughs> and I don't think I even knew what that meant. I just heard somebody say it and was like, that's what I'm saying. This is that's actually gonna work out. This is actually the great tragedy of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> How many lives have been taken by exactly this, this type of thinking? But yeah, they call me Pomodoro and it, it hurt me. You know? I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. And then he accidentally spilled that one day, and Mike has not forgot it. No, that was funny. No, I spilled out on a, on a little moped though. That was that was the other accident that happened. The same trip. Were you burned when it? I happened? got super sunburned, and then I got burned by the tailpipe of a Piaggio Jesus. moped. Brands we great. hate. Did no, you? no, no. I'm cool with that. It, well, okay. it literally it spelled Piaggio backwards in my calf. So oigap. Yeah, well, no, I actually got this cool shit that was like synthetic skin that doesn't exist in the United States. It's true. If you actually look right here, I don't really have hair like on this Let part me check of my. This out. It's for real, man. Where? So like right here. It's it's made from the skin you see of this little white shit right here. This is where I got burned. It's skin okay. donated by people no who went to college for free. It looks like hair. What's it's the, a little bit of hair. It's okay. like it's like follicles popping up. Okay, it's for real. What okay. you just did for right real, here man. is in my nightmares. Why? Somebody looking at my legs that close. <laughs> it is like that is nightmare material. Why? The calves are the best part of my body. Well, I, I these w- are the they're the most toned. They get the most use. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I don't know if I agree with really? that at all. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm walking a lot. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, and I do a lot. I do a lot of these, like you know. <laughs> sometimes I wear, you know, like, sometimes uh-huh. I do like the, 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 I'm trying to be taller than I am because I'm not, you know, six foot something. Six, 245 <laughs> Tight end, tight end, all American, slip to the third round. University of Wisconsin. Were you, were you in the league long enough to get a nickname? Uh, Small fry guy. Oh, we carried over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, no. When you get a nickname, odds are people can like zero in on that nickname. You kind yeah. of start leaning into it. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's me. That's my story. That's how I got here. Would How's you- your burger that you haven't taken a bite of yet because you're afraid that it's going to spill and I'm going to win? <laughs> <laughs> how much would- eat it, eat it, eat it. How much would you have paid for the ferry tickets? You're going back to Staten wow. Island Ferry? How much would I pay for ferry tickets? I, see, uh, I, I two fucked bucks. his brain up so bad that he's, he, he's reverting back to... Really? Two bucks for two a ferry. <laughs> I'll pay two bucks for a ferry. I think that's It's fair. a boat ride. Well, yeah. It should, it's it should it's be a boat ride. It's not yeah. Cape Cod, though. You're not going on the high seas or anything with, the, with the Gordon's Fisherman. Oh, fish God, tank. please. Sure, still. sure. That's why, I mean, had it been some beautiful trip, I'm sure I would have paid more. You know, I'm Dear sure that, God, please spill. No, this is going to be bad. Is there bologna oh. on that? Say it again. It's like a slice of bologna right on the top. No, I think that's cheese and some uh, slaw. No? That's it's nice. fried ham on it. Oh, fried ham. I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. Yeah. This coming from the vegetarian. Hey, man, just stack up the reasons people can hate me. The body. This podcast is about me, okay? I'm oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank on. God for once. I'm, stop. It's great. St- yeah, stop taking the limelight. At least I'm getting something today. <laughs> yeah, I'm you? a veggie boy also. You guys. Did you skateboard here? You guys Did just I became skateboard? best friends. Did you I skateboard here? Um, I tried to for a short while, then I dropped in on a half pipe, and they were like, <laughs> you, you got to fucking like slam. And I was like, okay. And I didn't slam, and I fell back and hit my head, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, no way, dude. No way. Never again. And they're like, you got to get back up. Like, that's like, you took your first, like, no, at least you got to no get back way. up. I was like, like, fuck no, off, fuck dude. Like, that shit hurts. You got to do that more? Hell no. That's I a, don't like being hurt at all. It's a rational decision. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense. Like you do something like that, it fucking hurts. So yeah. Why would you do it again? I wouldn't do it. That's I why skateboarded I once. I skied once. That's it. No more. I was, I've never skied. I've uh, snowboarded. Okay. Yeah. Did sure. you get more extreme after? Did you acquire, like, another nickname after that? Like, Big Air Guy? 
No, I think they were. St- I mean, because once I once I popped off, once I got off the uh, lift and got back to the cab, and everybody was like, "We got fries," and I was like, "You got to give me the tiny ones, then." Like, You're the same old guy. I'm like, "Come on, you think I put Snowboarding's a, gonna?" I put aside some Gary exemplars here for the listener. Well, that's like these are like no, um, these are what like I'm talking cru- about. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, talking I about. See. Like a I small fry, French fry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want the. I don't want just the crunchy part. I love the crunchy part. I, w- I want a little bit of substance there. This is great. We could like all get along in the same bag of fries. Mr. Old Long Long Fry over here would Your Long Fry boy? I mean, I like all kinds of fries. I, per- cool. I, particularly, I particularly enjoy li- curly, seasoned curly fries. For the listener. Might be my preference. Or crinkle cut. But they got to be crispy. Sure. Like, you know. They have like to the be the way White Castle used to make them. They have to be thawed out is what he's saying. <laughs> they cannot be frozen. I'll eat a frozen French fry. That's yeah, disgusting, yeah. and that is true. I've actually watched you Why eat frozen. Why is that frozen. disgusting? I don't, cause I, I You're don't know. You're from Ohio. A lot of things that are disgusting to us may not be disgusting to you. Says the guy eating a bologna hamburger. <laughs> 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 it's fried ham, and I didn't have a choice. Alex, I know I had a choice. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Well... There's only, um, there's only like two burgers on the menu. Are the you other, into the other noodles ones? in your chili? In it, what? You into noodles in your oh, chili? Oh, the Cincinnati chili? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Uh, it's an acquired taste. Is uh, St. Louis do a special chili thing? Um, not chili. Uh, pizza. We're talking about thin crust sliced in squares. That's St. Louis style. Really? Yeah. That mm-hmm. sounds delish. Is there an Ohio style pizza? Is that like you ride it in a horse and buggy and... <laughs> Marry your high school sweetheart and get a pizza. What is Mary? What? Yes, Mario. Mary. Mario. You marry? <laughs> no, I don't. Mary. Uh, there is a. I mean, I have a hometown pizza place, but it's like any other pizza in the world. Terry's Pizza. This is a shout out to you. Hey, I. You know what I have is a um, shout out to Carmine's closing forever. No more reasons uh, to live. No more le- No more reasons to live in Greenpoint, guys. That's it. So, is it for real closing down? Didn't uh, they just open up a like a bar right next to it? Carmine's? Yeah, am I, I wrong? Am I thinking of some place? Carmine's is the place right at the, the it's, Norman. It's, a, it's just a pizzeria. Right it's, it's just a humble. It's a humble pizzeria. Really, there's a wine bar there. Fact checker had a. I think somebody's uh, open. Damn. Like wine a bit or something like that. Wine a bit. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Carmine's is closing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my cousin Mario ah. told me that Carmine's is closing. I heard that wine a bit's gonna take over. Pieces of shit. There's really no point in staying in Greenpoint anymore. This is the last time this, I don't know. Po- this I podcast it. will be so He's convenient. been here a long time, so he, he gets real curmudgeon about okay. this You enjoy stuff. it. I mean, I enjoy seeing vagrant Polish men drunk as hell at like 11 a.m. in Mogorny Those are Park. my doormen. He's got Very names. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Mike, cool. You're doing can you, well. Can we go into this? Can we go into this? Can sure, go, go ahead. So Mike, Mike has specific names for all these people that walk around his neighborhood. I've lived here for like 13 years. I know, but I just like the names and you, I just, can you go through some of them? I'm just sure. setting you up. Sure. Can you stop eating and tell people? <laughs> <laughs> for Christ's sake. Well, look, this, this one's topical. There was Stinkfoot. <laughs> Stinkfoot. Stinkfoot used to lean on the G train stop at Nassau Avenue. He used to just like sit there and hang out there, but he had this stain that like climbed up his jeans over the summer. I think he just like had an infection that he did not take care of. Yikes! Mm. You hate Rest to in see peace, that. Stinkfoot. Yeah. There was Leatherface. <laughs> I mean, I'm presuming he didn't. Stinkfoot to Leatherface. What? Leatherface? I want similar afflictions, just different mm-hmm. sides of the body, yeah, different ends of the body. Uh-huh. I think he slept in the sun a lot. Uh, I once saw him wearing a suit standing outside of St. Stanny's on Drake's Avenue, just like. When the f- church is too full, people are just standing on the steps. Or maybe he smelled so bad they wouldn't let him in. I d- never knew. <sighs> that breaks my heart. <laughs> this man wants to go to church. You got to let him go to church. Is right? Mr. Polite? That's good. Yeah, Mr. Polite. Like, I've, Mr. I've walked by and saw Mr. Polite with you. Mr. Polite is much more recent. He's <laughs> like, this is like, this is a guy who's been hanging out since, you know, cameras have gotten phones in them. Not like gotcha. Leatherface and, uh-huh. uh, and Stinkfoot. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, Mr. Polite... <laughs> Wow. I first encountered because I've I've managed to document him on several medias media media that's mostly the, that's the plural okay so the first, I first encountered Mr Polite he was like lying on my sidewalk parallel to the street uh huh and later on that night he was sleeping in my door space and I my doorway which is like this far off the sidewalk and okay so it's a little offers a little bit of shelter and he like. 
So if you need a place to crash, I was trying yeah, to get in. Cool. I was cool. trying to get in, or I was trying to get out. I was trying to get in. I was trying to get in. Okay. He was sleeping, and I got over him and got in. But then the next day, I was coming out with my bike, and he was just like, "Oh, I, I don't mean to be rude." He was still there in the <laughs> in the doorway. Like, did you get home? And he what time was, did you take off? What do you work for the police? No, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering, like, how long he was. Oh, this was camping. overnight. This was like saw him on the sidewalk. Was day daylight. Mm-hmm. Came home. He was in my at night. He was in my doorway. Then the next morning, coming out with my bike. Yeah, yeah, but I'm he saying he didn't mean to be rude. Yeah, but I'm saying if you Mr. got home Polite. at if you got home at eight p.m. Such and, he was and such. Asleep, a, no, it was no, it was probably like he was there. It was probably like noon ten or eleven. That's a long time. Was it a twelve-hour yeah. shift? Was yeah, it overtime was like, involved? Was it like six hours. Yeah, know? that's basically. What Later on, I saw him in a in a uh, in an ambulance. I've seen him up and down Nassau Yikes. Avenue, just kind of sprawled out. He's a nice. He never meant no harm. Okay. Uh, you're gonna see more people as the weather is nicer and mm-hmm. alcohol gets cheaper. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I love in the summer when beer gets cheap. It does. That's my thing. Yeah. Are you being for real? No, what about... It's, it's all that, like, you know, fall and winter beer from the year before is really cheap in the summertime. Yeah, got to get rid of all this beer with yeah, uh, like, maple, oh, yeah. all this yeah, maple yeah, flavored uh-huh. uh, stout. Cinnamon all these, porter. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah the, great. The pumpkin, the pumpkin stouts. Uh-huh. Yeah, of sale on cinnamon porter. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's fucking July. Uh-huh. Yep. It's yep. disgusting. The fire cell. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that beer joke really resonated. It did. It really did. Mm-hmm. It's true, man. It's how they get rid of it all. Look, I worked. I worked in 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 the beverage department. I know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore, guys. Mary, my buddy Mario tells me I can't talk about it anymore. So he's the plumber. Yeah, you call him the plumber. Sure. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? I. I don't think that it's unique to Greenpoint, but so many drunk Polish men is unique to Greenpoint. Absolutely. But I also have uh, Diego uh, is has really bad legs, and you you will see him up Manhattan Avenue. But I've he seen he Diego. did he did like a three day residency at uh, at my doorstep. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Anything cool come of it? Did he get any like cool work out of that? It was a, lim- it was a limited edition. What he left oh, behind that's awesome. it was an eph- ephemera. And uh, human produced mixed media. Yeah. And I think he, I think I saw him. I was working nights at that point. I was working nights at that point. Like I got towards the end of the week. My call time was like one o'clock in the, in the PM. So uh-huh. I came out, he was there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he was there. And then I came back at like three in the morning. I, I noted for you because yeah. I knew that we were going to do this podcast. You know, I'm interested. That's the kind of thing that I'm interested in. I, yes. ca- I came back home at like yeah. three in the morning and he was there. Okay. And then I left. That was a Friday. And then I left the next morning to get my apple cider and my chocolate milk from the farmer's market uh-huh. right around the corner here. Sure. So yeah. domesticated. Uh-huh. Right here on you. Yeah. 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 Right from uh-huh. the green market. Yeah. He was still there. <laughs> okay. And uh, I came back with my, my bags and he, with my my reusable shopping bags, and he was still there. Mm -hmm. That was Saturday afternoon. And he was still there Saturday night, and he just, like, looked in worse shape. But Sunday... (laughs) Sunday, he really looked bad. He looked like... He just, like... He looks like he boxes all the time. But I never hear scuffling. Like he's jacked as hell and carrying around WBA belts? No, like Mickey... (laughs) Mickey Rourke in the wrestling. Okay, so, like, he's a bad boxer. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a bad boxer. Okay, Not not successful. Not a champion. He, I used to see him with a bicycle. He used to sleep with a bicycle over him, but now he just has like crutches and bags and things. And that's how Greenpoint is with the fucking rent going up. Yeah, that's the truth, dude. Ugh. I blame, truth. I blame you. Yeah. Silver Don't blame boxes. me. Yeah. I got kicked out of Lower East Side. I had to move to Brooklyn. <coughs> what? For what? Too much money. What? Yeah. You had too much money and they no, kicked you out no, of the Lower East Side? No. <laughs> Yeah, I had, too mu- I had too much money. I was like, fuck this neighborhood, man. I need to go somewhere where it's less expensive. Mm-hmm. Park Slope sounds good. It's not true. I mean, it is true, but it's not for the same reasons that I just said. I was okay. fibbing. Hey, I think we've all done a fair amount of that tonight. Oh, no, everything else I said is for real, for real, real, real. Okay. I'm only 6'4". 200 flat, you know, I've got six <laughs> bones. You lied about 45 folks, pounds. No, six folks, bones. he's wasting away during the podcast. He's already lost 45 pounds of pure muscle just tonight. I've got all of the fingers on my left hand and a neck. 
<laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, at least you got yeah. some bones. Your parents got some are bones, proud. You know, now. yeah, they are proud. They are proud. <laughs> Mama loves her baby. These fries are cold now. I, obviously, this burger is still. I, from the side that I'm looking at it, I would. I can't believe that you actually took a bite. I saw you take one, but from where I'm sitting right now, it doesn't look like you took a bite of anything. That's called you just perspective. Had a little, you just had yeah, a little gimmick up because here. Because from where I'm sitting, I can see that he definitely took a bite. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my God, there's a burger there with a bite in it. That's these, wild. These men are looking at the same burger, America. <laughs> Is this America? <laughs> Is this America? There is no bite out of that burger. I figure... I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> really uncool. I'm here's, sorry. Here's a question that I've never, I haven't been able to ask any guest on this podcast. What, what is your favorite vegetarian meal Jeez. of all time you in, can, in, in you New York City? Any, you can ask no, no, no. any of the guests you, that. This is, this is the first time that another vegetarian has ever been on this podcast. You don't know that. Well, I mean, I dig pretty deep. When I try watching an Every episode email of that we send to the yeah. guest is, are you a vegetarian? Yes Question no. one. Uh, do sorry, you like Karen. podcasts? I'm sorry, Karen. Um, favorite veggie dish? Gotta be eggplant lasagna. Oh, see, that's where we differ. Ooh. Okay. He's the weirdest, he's the weirdest vegetarian, just it. by the way. What are you going to say? Just here's the deal. He doesn't eat no, no, like, no. any of that normal like protein type stuff. Like, oh, this could be a meat product, but like it's not. Like you're not going to say tan or he tofu? Doesn't eat no, I, I like both of those. He, he's okay. uh, he doesn't like. Drunk. He doesn't like uh, eggplant. You're not an eggplant guy? It depends. It blow, that blows wow. my mind. If you're a vegetarian, yeah. you don't eggplant. eat eggplant. As. I mean. Zucchini? Eggplant as zucchini? <laughs> no, I think eggplant as eggplant. But I was going to say it's as uh, dynamic a flavor as salt. That's a, that's, that's a great, right? That's a good review. I think, it's, I think I'm completely wrong, but I feel, I feel like I, needed, I you, needed to push you, it hard. I feel like I needed to push that hard. Egg, eggplant we is should in dry a, out a bunch of eggplant and just put it on the, you know, right next to the salt and pepper. An yeah. eggplant. Dried egg, eggplant. Yeah. You got this. Why don't put happens. this thing on it? Yeah. You got this big purple thing all the pizzerias. Here, put that on no, there. no more crushed red pepper. Just crushed Get dried egg I, Yeah. I only enjoyed it the time that I had it when a celiac person made it. And so mm-hmm. it was uh, zucchini instead of noodles. Oh. So it was sort of eggplant maybe sure, inside sure. of that. Gotcha. Maybe. That sounds great. I cuz ordinarily so slow I can't when you said the word silly. Cuz I had to sound it out. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying to my cousin Mario that that he Continue. I don't have a, I don't, have a, I, don't have a, I don't have a cousin. For the listener, he doesn't have a cousin. I don't have a cousin Mario. Mario. Mm-hmm. And, I can't stand lasagna, really. Vegeta- really? Yeah, vegetable lasagna, especially. Oh, boy. You're saying, egg- when you say eggplant lasagna, it's like to the exclusion of all the other things? Absolutely not. Come on, I wouldn't be so Sauce, foolish. cheese. I wouldn't be so foolish as to own, as to get noodles and eggplant only. You gotta give me some credit. What what else? Is, <laughs> what else is in there? I don't know regular regular lasagna, lasagna stuff. Thing? Okay, yeah, okay. Regular lasagna <laughs> stuff. Uh oh, bless you. Dan, I think I covered yeah. my math enough. Dan thinks he's okay. going to be funny. I think I covered yeah. The my bits math are enough. starting apparently. Well, we still have time left, right? No, we have no time for bits. <sighs> Sorry, okay. no time for bits. Speaking no. of bits. N- no, I I want these are bits. These are these, these are, are bits of these are bits of bits. snot oh, left boy. over from your fake sneeze that you just <laughs> shut up. It could have been real. It was obviously a fake sneeze. Well, you don't know that. What's your favorite vegetarian dish? Dan? <laughs> My favorite vegetarian it's dish: gravy fries. <laughs> <laughs> disco 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 fries. <laughs> That's a good guess. I can't lean back I'm, any I'm more than I am. <laughs> I can't. I'm already leaning back a lot. Uh, uh, cheese pierogies. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Yeah, cheese right. and potato pierogies, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cheese yeah. and potato. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's a good one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's yours, Jeremy? I don't have one. Are we talking um, about food now still? What? Can you just eat that fucking burger, please? <laughs> Can I like ask a question to crazy. everybody? Yeah, please. Um... This is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Not a lot, but maybe it's telling of who I am as a person. But on a scale from one to ten, how good do you think you are at wiping your ass? (laughs) Right? That's so much better. (laughs) 
Yes. <laughs> For the listener. My oh, dear God. <laughs> in my life of knowing Michael Morona, Suddenly Michael C. Morona. Just, just, oh. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? Where did it go? It's so weird. I've never seen you oh, eat food like that before. In my life. I'll get you a paper towel. Don't worry. No, you've got plenty in your pocket. There you go. Wow, you actually got... Well, he started throwing things at me. What am I supposed <laughs> to do? Don't avoid the question. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. uh, I'd, say, uh, I'd say I'm a cool uh, B plus, A minus guy. What is that on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> Are we doing a number scale or a no, letter scale? No, I'm doing scale. grade scale. I'm doing grade scale. Okay. I, mean, I went numbers. to college. I didn't get grades. He's so giving himself, himself, I have a chance he's to get giving grades. himself an 8.7 to a 9.1. That's wild. That's Should it be so 100%? Good. Is that good? I think that's I'm awesome. efficient as shit, man. My shit is efficient. My shitting, my shitting okay. is efficient. Okay. Because to me, Don't let this physique 10. fool you, man. I can get all up in there. All right. I hear problem. you, dude. Not a problem. I hear you because this, and I this wash is what my a 10 is too. to me. Every time, wash my hands. A 10 to me is, you got to wash your hands every time. <laughs> Wait, you guys, no, I mean, it's like a thing, right? You're supposed to, wa- I do it okay. every time. Yeah, absolutely. This is like when the landlord puts in the classified ad, heat and hot water free. That's the fucking <laughs> law. That's the law. You have to have heat and hot water free. It's, you don't get a bonus for heat and hot water free. You wash your hands every time you go in the yeah. bathroom. You don't get a bonus. Okay, That's not guys, a sell- I was just trying to set you That's up. That's not Mike. a selling point. That's not a selling point. Point. From one TV brother to another, I was just <laughs> letting you know I was could set him up and you can knock him down. That's all I was getting. It at. just gets my oysters <laughs> steamed or something. These steam oysters? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but oh, I'm saying to me a but, ten, right? We're talking about a perfect ten at wiping your ass, no matter. You're the ideal, right? You're the ten in your own you mind. Never Absolutely, have an itchy right. you're, you Absolutely. are the ideal. You are the ten. Yeah. Cool, cool six and a half, seven, right? Who? Me, I'm what? a six and a half, okay. seven, or one but to wait, ten. But wait, but what is the scale? I'm just what I'm saying. Is the scale like if if you never have an itchy asshole, then you're good, I'm, right? I'm saying a ten wait, is, is that, no is matter no matter how destructive <laughs> and disastrous the shit is, <laughs> you're straight up. It's we're, talk, fine. we're talking like a wipe. Yeah, a wipe, and you're good. All right, that's like <laughs> top notch. Your hundred, your hundred percent is I'm a bidet. Pretty much. Okay, yeah. I yeah. get it. I guess. That's what I'm saying. I'm like a six. Do you know what a bidet Seven. is? I do. I'm from Ohio, but I do know what a bidet <laughs> is. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't understand. What's the scoring system again? Zero Just to say ten. Say whatever you want. Oh, zero to ten. Like, yeah, zero to well, ten. Well, you, you said B plus. Well, whatever, and then I got so. correct to 8.7 and 9.1. Which Go. is outrageously good. I am envious. You're a seven? Six and seven. Six and seven. Yeah, six and seven. Six and seven. Yeah, six and seven. Mm. I could be better than him. No, I, I'm an honest person. I, I'll go... F- Five because I have a lot of self doubt. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we're doing extra wipes. You're talking extra. Well, I'm sure wipes. it's probably in the range of seven, but you know, then the thoughts start creeping in. You know. <laughs> you do a lot of shimmying in your chair. <laughs> like, no, I do a lot of like, oh, I'm good. Let's go. Oh no, I'm not good. Let's take this. Let's take one more minute. Where are you going, Mike? You just rated yourself a five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, I stuck by him. But see, wait, are we doing technique or okay, leave the real behind? Thing, you shouldn't have to walk away unless... When was the last time you pooped? <laughs> yeah, have you shit in the air since we've been up here? No, I haven't. Okay, I'll stay Perfect. here. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. good. We're good. I don't have to like, think about like a samurai master, right? He, he runs up and he just cuts that tree in half with one stroke. Mm-hmm. How many strokes is it going to take for Jeremy to cut down that tree? Ah... Uh, I'm Prop. lefty, too, so that wasn't very good. Uh, Danny, for the listener, Danny's throwing fries at Mike's <laughs> face. It's turned into that. Um, I don't know what the answer is you to that question. You wasted a short fry. I would say three. Is that a, that's another, it's like the middle of the road. You could cut down a tree with a samurai sword with three strokes? I mean, it's a fucking samurai it's sword. Not a sa- it's not a sapling. You know, it's, oh, it's, had, a, well, it's, had, it's see, had a winter or two. It's all mm-hmm. these things that then, you know, it's like, I think you're, maybe your definition of a tree is different than mine. I thought they cut them all down in Ohio. Oh, boy. Whoa. Here we just we lost Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> we <laughs> lost you six months too. ago, Stacy. <laughs> Getting the now. Yeah, Getting the now, yeah, boy. Um, it's Wayne's World, man. I'm a, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm a nine. I'm a nine. Wow. I'm a nine. Wow. Look at Do not clap, clap for that, Billy right Nord. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> My ass checker. I brought a fact checker and an ass checker tonight. <laughs> 
<laughs> Billy, don't let him call you an ass checker, man. That's fucked up. Um, has everybody gotten their scores in? Are we all good? Yeah. Judges. Yeah. So. Judges. So who wins? You win. Nine well, straight up. I did, I did shower right before we started this show, so I could even follow oh, through. Oh, is that why the people had to wait 15 oh, minutes? Because you were, oh, you were showering? Hey, at least I'm I didn't just... order food during the show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gary, you've been a delight. Yeah. Thanks for... Uh, give, give, Thank us, you. give us... Yeah. yeah, give him a round of applause. Hey, Richardson, everybody. Um, yeah. Give but, us some of your applause. Oh, Despite, wait, did you... Did hold you, on. Hold on. Despite your horribly embarrassing stretch marks on your knees, you <laughs> have been... And I, I got over that last-minute fumble that cost the University of Wisconsin the game. I forgive you. you. I was down. I was down. He had no was bones, down. man. He, he, was, he had no bones. The knee can't be down if you don't have no bones, okay? You can I'll see in court. You have any, you got any plugs, Gary? Okay. Any plugs? Yeah, he's got um, knee plugs. This from here to here is all Teflon. <laughs> um, I'm right, going to say No. Okay. No plus. Check me out. No, check, check him out. Easy. out if you want to see stuff, it's easy to find people. Yeah. Right? Okay. You yeah, I do stuff. Just stuff. Google the man's name. Yeah. yeah. I, I think there's a doctor that comes up first. Really? Yeah. I does think a do doctor in work? Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. I pray he does. I pray he does good. Yeah, hey, I mean, the world does not need one more bad doctor walking around. Especially with your name. Sharon exactly. With my name? Come on. Uh, Don't I'm you sorry, look sir. We can't give you this loan. Uh, there's well, another man... With your name that has seventy thousand dollars in <laughs> school loans, <laughs> he must. He, he must also live in Greenpoint. He must. He's gotta. He's gotta. Yeah, that's fun. That's mm-hmm. cute. You like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Well, thank you guys. Thank thanks you very for much. coming out. Thanks to yeah. Billy Nord. Thanks to Over the Eight. Over and the thanks eight. to you all. Yeah, very much. Billy Nord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? I was just pointing. pointing. Okay, great. <laughs> I thought I thought music was going to. Oh, play you don't say two or like, one. Yeah. You you don't say two or one. And uh. the Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Morona. The show is produced by Jeremy Balin and Marianne Ways. This podcast is part of the Feral Audio Podcasting Collective and can be found on their website at feralaudio.com. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter, at Danny and Mike, with the and spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com backslash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. Feral Audio.